In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about keyboard shortcuts. By the end of this lesson, you should know what they are, why they're handy, and how to use them. If you already know about keyboard shortcuts, feel free to skip this tutorial. Be aware though, I will be teaching a few handy keyboard shortcuts for Windows 7 users, so you may want to stick around if that applies to you. So what's a keyboard shortcut? To answer that, we need to look here to our computer keyboard. Before we go too much further, I'll tell you that the teaching in this lesson only applies to PC keyboards. If you have an Apple computer, you may have to do a bit more research to make the information in this tutorial apply. Sadly, Apple keyboards are set up differently. OK, so throughout these tutorials, I'll be referring to things called keyboard shortcuts. Whenever I mention that term, I'm talking about something you can do here on your computer keyboard to achieve something quickly in PowerPoint. Very simply, a keyboard shortcut will require you to push anywhere between one and four keys on your keyboard at the same time. Let's start out simple with just the one key. I've got the PowerPoint application open here. If I push the F1 key here on my keyboard, that will launch the Help menu. Instantly, I have the Help menu up and running. I didn't need to use my mouse at all. Now that's a handy shortcut to remember, and it works across all Microsoft Office applications. Let's try a two-key combination now. I know that the keyboard shortcut for applying bold formatting to text is Control b meaning I'll need to push the Control and B keys down at the same time. If I select my text here with my mouse, I can now use the Control b combination to add bold formatting. Watch as I do this now. Take note, I'm able to press the Control key down for as long as I want. However, if I did that with my B key at the same time, you'll see it's now rapidly toggling my bold formatting at the same rate as a hummingbird's wings. You only need to push the B key once and quickly to make the shortcut work. Unless, of course, you're extremely bored and you find the rapid toggling effect good entertainment. You've probably figured out by now that to take bold formatting off text, the keyboard shortcut is still Control b Whenever we suggest a helpful keyboard shortcut in these videos, we'll show them like this. The two keys you'll need to push, in this case the Control and B keys, separated by a plus sign. This means, in order to get this keyboard shortcut to work, you need to push the Control key down and then push or add the B key at the same time. Two helpful keyboard shortcuts I like to use, which are specific to Windows 7 users only, are for minimising and maximising windows. To minimise a window, the keyboard shortcut is Windows key with the down arrow. To maximise, the keyboard shortcut is Windows key with the up arrow. Remember, these shortcuts only work if you are using the Windows 7 operating system. In Windows, the keyboard shortcut for closing and exiting an application has always been Alt-F4. Another two useful shortcuts when working with multiple documents in Windows 7 is the Windows key with the left arrow and the Windows key with the right arrow. These commands will dock the window to the left and right respectively. This is handy when you've got more than one window open at once. Again, there are many keyboard shortcuts that I'll be sharing with you throughout these tutorials. Be aware that there are many, many more you can find out about that I won't be teaching you. You can discover a few of these by hovering your mouse over any button in a group located in a tab. A tooltip may appear like this, telling you about the keyboard shortcut. If it doesn't, then you can assign one in PowerPoint Options in the File tab. You can also find keyboard shortcuts in the Help menu by searching the words Keyboard Shortcuts. So, push the F1 key and get memorising. In summary, memorise keyboard shortcuts to save you time repeating common actions with your mouse. Keyboard shortcuts will be shown on the screen. You can create your own keyboard shortcuts.